I have always been obsessed with grapefruits. Not only are they delicious, but they're also natural fat-burning fruits. It's the citrus, the intense citrus in the vitamin C that actually breaks down fat and flushes it out of your body. Beyond the fat burning, they are also my ultimate when it comes to kicking a sugar craving. I have intense sugar cravings. I'm like, I love sugar, I love chocolate, and sometimes it can get a little out of hand. So grapefruits for me are like toothpaste before you have orange juice, right? Makes you not want to have the orange juice, or it makes orange juice taste disgusting. For me, it's grapefruits. I'll have a grapefruit, and then I do not want that chocolate. I just don't want it anymore. It's like a godsend. Now, studies have come out making me love grapefruit even more. Studies have shown that chicks who are 19 years old and older actually have greater intakes of key nutrients if they eat grapefruits on a regular, ongoing basis. They have greater intakes of vitamin C, potassium, fiber, B6. So what that means is when you're eating food naturally, sometimes your body is just getting rid of all the nutrients. Well, if you eat a lot of grapefruit, it actually helps your body to bind onto the vitamin C, the potassium, the fiber, the B6, and hold on to them, and you get the benefits from them. It's also been shown that if you eat a lot of grapefruit, you have a lower intake of sugar and fat. So you're eating the sugar and fat, and your body is actually fleshing it out before it's able to bind to your body and like, you know, what is that on my ass? Oh, it's that croissant I ate this morning. It's also been shown that people who eat grapefruit have a lower body weight and lower BMI, body mass index. So now the question is, how do you eat a grapefruit? Because it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a mango. Some people, like, how do you eat a mango? It's hard to open it. So I eat grapefruits like oranges. So I take a knife and I cut around the whole thing, okay? And then the other side. So I'm cutting it into quarters, but I'm only just barely breaking through the skin. So you can see how deep the knife is through the skin. And remember, grapefruit skin is pretty thick. So I'm only breaking through the skin. I'm trying not to get into the actual grapefruit. So now I have four quarters. And then I'm just going to the corner. See, so you have all four that come to a point right here, okay? So you just pull up one of those quarters. Look at that, clean. So easy, it's like the easiest way. So you get all four off, all right? And I don't like sugar with my grapefruit. I just, I know some people feel that they, they can't eat it without sugar. I, I remember I used to eat grapefruit. My mom would cut it in half and then we would use a spoon and dig out little pieces of it and cover, cover it with sugar. But really it's unnecessary, especially if you get a nice organic grapefruit. It just, it doesn't need the sugar. And if, you know, if you, if you feel that you need it, I'll sometimes just do this and then I'll put it in a bowl with Greek yogurt. Delicious. Oh wow, amazing. It's such a great breakfast. I'll put grapefruit or um, granola on it and sometimes I'll put some blueberry, frozen blueberries so that you get the really cold and then the grapefruit and the granola. Uh, you can do so much with it. It's just, it's a great meal. Okay, so now I have a completely shaven grapefruit, all right? Now, you can either just open it up and have these nice big slices like orange slices but they're slightly bigger because the grapefruit or you can take it and cut right along the center, all the way through. So now I have two grapefruit halves, but I have them so that it's showing each of these pieces, so it's easy to break, see? Now, I stick my finger in the back, in the bud. You know, it's easier to explain that way. Break it in half, and then you break each individual piece off. So you have nice, clean, one, bite-sized pieces, and you can do that for each one. I used to be a little bit crazy with my grapefruit, and I would only want the absolute innards, none of the fibery white stuff, so I would actually break it like that. I'm, it is sweeter if you just do that, because this is where the, the bitterness is, the white. But it's much more time intensive, because then you have to Tear off all the white, get to the piece of grapefruit, then you're stuck with the white again, and then you have to rip off the white, 
and then you get to your grapefruit. So it takes a little bit longer, but anyway, the point is, that's how you are able to easily cut a grapefruit, eat it. If you want to, you can do, you know, entire big chunks and just eat those. I'm not going to do it because then I'm, I can't talk. So go to, the, go to the grocery store, get some grapefruit. Don't be afraid of it. You don't need to cover it in sugar. Now, some people, though, it, it, if you're on certain medications, you do need to be careful with grapefruit. Um, in fact, if you have, if you're on birth control pills, uh, it can affect the birth control pills. If you're on um, heart regulating medications or some others, it can affect the, um, the, the medis medication. So make sure that you ask your doctor. If you are concerned, you can also just do a quick search online, see how grapefruit affects the particular prescription that you're on. And that's it. So now you understand my obsession. I just took six minutes to talk about it. So pretty clear. All right, that's your quickie or not so quickie in the kitchen today.